Hi, John from Lancaster Archery Supply. I want to have a little discussion with you today about choosing an appropriate bow length for a traditional archer. I talk with traditional archers from all over the world and one question that comes up quite a bit is, John help me decide or, or John what is the most appropriate bow length for me as an archer? Uh, it's a good question, I get it all the time and I, when I answer that question for an archer I, I focus on three key principles. First principle is uh, what's that archer built like? What's their body size? Most specifically what is an archer's draw length? Um, that helps me determine what bow length we're going to use. Secondly, what are you doing with the bow? What are your goals in archery? Are you bow hunting? Are you simply shooting targets in your backyard? Or do you plan on shooting 3D or tournament field archery? And finally, the third principle is simply the, the matter of personal preferences. Some archers are going to prefer bows on the shorter side. Some archers are going to prefer bows on the longer side. So those three key principles helped me to help an archer choose an appropriate bow length. First principle was draw length. Um, this is key because um, one of the first steps, especially with modern traditional bows, in choosing a bow length is really associating the limbs we choose first with that archer and then finding the overall bow length later depending on what they want to do with the bow. Um, short draw lengths are going to be draw lengths up to 26 or 27 inches. Everything from there down I consider the shorter end of the spectrum. From about 27 inches up to about 30 inches, that's the, the m encompasses most archers. We would call that medium or the, the mid-range for draw length. And then from 30 inches, 31, 32, 33 and longer, those are all the, the really long draw length archers. Uh, you begin the process, determine that draw length, uh, and then we choose a limb length that's appropriate for that draw length. If you're under 26 inches, it's, it's most likely you want to shoot a short limb. You can shoot a medium limb, you can even shoot a long limb, but you're going to get the most performance out of a modern, short, traditional limb. Above 26 inches, but below 30 inches. Um, if you're on the low end, you can get away with shorts, maybe mediums. If you're on the high end, mediums, possibly up to longs, but you're in that medium limb length category. And then finally, the longest draw length archers. If you have a draw length over 31 inches, really you should always shoot long limbs. That helps us start, but then we ask, what are your goals? What are you going to do with traditional archery? Are, are we simply shooting in the backyard? Are you hunting? Are you hunting from a blind? Or are you shooting tournament field archery or 3D archery? Um, and to help you uh, illustrate this point, I've got three distinct bows set up here in front of me. I have a 28 inch draw, it's somewhere between 28 and 29 inches. I'm about 5'11". Uh, the most appropriate limb or the limb that matches my draw length the best is a medium limb. Um, I shoot medium limbs a lot. I also shoot long limbs because personal preference, I, I do like the feel of a long limb, but I often shoot medium limbs and I rarely shoot short limbs. I've got three bows in front of me here, all uh, uh, using medium limbs, uh, the same TradTech medium limbs. I've got a 15 inch TradTech riser. I've got a 21 inch riser and I've got a 25 inch riser. These three bows are 58 inches long with mediums, uh, 64 inches long on the 21 inch riser and the 25 inch riser with medium limbs is 68 inches long. 58, 64, 68. Three distinctly different bows, distinctly different lengths, all with medium limbs, all would be very appropriate for me and I would choose for different applications in traditional archery. The 58 inch bow, this is a short hunting style bow. Uh, at 58 inches, this would be great for a tree stand bow hunter, great for someone shooting out of a blind, uh, or just bow hunting in general. Uh, it's a great length for a bow hunter. Personally, I often shoot a 17 inch riser with medium limbs uh, for a 60 inch bow as a bow hunter, but uh, this 58 inch bow would be very appropriate for me uh, as well. Moving up in length to a 21 inch riser, 
this is at the long end at 64 inches of what most people would bow hunt with who are my height. Um, so it's a long hunting bow. It's also a, a short to mid-range 3D or tournament bow at 64 inches. I go to a lot of 3D tournaments around the country. I see the best traditional archers in the country. This is probably an average length to slightly at the short end of the average length for a 3D tournament shooter. Finally, I have a 68 inch bow. This is a 25 inch riser designed for the bare bow or traditional archery classes. At 25 inches, medium limbs, it's a 68 inch bow. You will see a bow just like this uh, competing in field archery, competing in 3D archery. Uh, you will often see people bow hunting with a 25 inch riser, but you're more likely to see somebody hunting with 19, 17, 15 inch risers. So as you can see, all using medium limbs, all appropriate uh, length bows for me as a traditional archer, and I would choose one of each of these for different applications in archery. Um, that should help us. Now, there's also modern traditional bows that do not come with uh, varying limb lengths or are one-piece bows. And the general rule of thumb for choosing one piece or, or bows that you do not have the options to change limb lengths are if you have a short draw length, you know, you can shoot any length you want. Probably from 62 inches under is going to feel best and be most appropriate to you. Um, if you have a medium draw length, you're going to shoot anywhere from 56 at the very, very low end to about 62, 64. Uh, this is in one piece bows or non adjustable bows. And finally, um, if you have a really long draw, you know, 31 inches or more, you're going to want to shoot bows that at the very least are about 62 inches um, up to 64, 66, 68, and 70 inch bows. So um, remember the three key principles. First, what's your draw length? Uh, decide that, figure that out. That helps us choose the limb length. Uh, secondly, what are we going to do with the bow? That helps us uh, decide which, uh, which riser to choose and the total bow length we want to use. And then finally, the third principle is everybody has some personal preferences. I like bows a little bit on the long side for my draw length. Some people are going to gravitate towards shorter bows. Um, you know, personal preference is, is just that. It's, it's what we add to this formula. Um, but uh, if you need any help deciding beyond what I've shared with you today, call one of our customer service representatives or see us at LancasterArchery.com.